Good day. Today's online awareness session will be on the 954. We are going to present you a holistic guide for managing an organization. In my introduction, let me tell you that any organization is a system and usually composed by subsystems. In our case, we have designed a model where we considered nine subsystems. And we consider then that the organization as a system is in constant interaction with its environment. We consider the micro environment and the macro environment. So our, uh, in our case, we have this guide that we developed. In bold blue, you see internally the organization. The organization is composed by nine subsystems. In the coming awareness sessions, we will have specific sessions on every other element that we can, we can find here. Let's begin by the first element. The first element is the strategy of the organization. We have to manage the strategy of the organization. We have to have a vision and regularly revisit the vision, the strategic objectives. Our next course will be the SWOT analysis. The 105 will be on the strategic objectives, operational objectives. So the first element, the first subsystem to manage is the strategy of the organization. The second subsystem is the process. We have to manage the processes of the organization. In terms of what are the activities, what are the inputs, what are the outputs, what are the risks, and what are the specific indicators, KPI, KPIs related to the specific processes. The third element that we have to consider is the human resources management. We call them talent management. There are mainly three approaches for managing talents. It's to attract the best. So we have to have a system for attracting the best leaders, managers, employees, technicians. We have to have a system for developing their competencies. And the third one, we have a, to have a system for retaining the best, those with whom we are going to achieve our strategic, operational objectives and our vision. The fourth element is the structure. What is our organizational policy? What are the departments? What are the layers that we have to take into consideration? The fifth element is the marketing. The marketing in terms of the four P's, but also in terms of branding, segmentation, and all the aspects that we can consider in marketing. The sixth uh, subsystem is about sales. How we are going to propose our services. Okay, in what conditions we are going to say. Is it a counter sales or proactive sales or online sales? The seventh element, the seventh subsystem is about customer service. So how we are going to make our customers loyal. Loyalty is about having pampering the customer. Customer service is about handling their complaints, their inquiries. Today, the approach is to getting as much as possible in communication with our customers in order to reach their satisfaction and make them loyal customers. The eighth subsystem is about IT. So what are the 
what are the approaches in IT? What is the roadmap of our IT? What website, what application, what ERP systems we are using them in order to achieve our strategic objectives and make our customers loyal, engaged with us. And at the end of the subsystems, we have the resources. In the resources, we have considered two elements. First, the assets of the organizations, such as uh, buildings, lands, etc. And indeed, one of the most important elements of the organization is how to manage the finance, the financial aspects. What is to be done in the next month in terms of finance with all the fluctuations happening uh, in the oil industry, but also in terms of exchange. So this is a subsystems, the nine subsystems are here. This is a system and every organization is in constant interaction with its micro environment where we consider mostly the five forces of Porter, such as competitors, suppliers, customers, substitutes, but also we considered the partners. So and any organization have an interaction with all those elements in the micro environment. And we have to try to keep away of their forces on, on our organization. And the macro element is the famous PEST methodology. In the PEST, we consider all the political, legal, administrative aspects and stability. In the economical, we consider all the economic uh, situation in the country, the region where we are working. And the third one is the socio-cultural aspects we have to consider. Uh, all the traditions, all the preferences, uh, the big data, and the influence of those on all organizations, and indeed the technological, uh, the technological approaches, the, the technology present in the country, how we can take advantage. So, uh, in the next course, actually we're going to see SWOT analysis, and in the SWOT analysis, we are going to see where are the strengths and the weaknesses and where are the opportunities and the threats. Thank you for today's online awareness session prepared by Management Mix experts.